Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. So uh, today is the day that has finally come where I'm going to work on doing the pinstriping uh, on the Victor Safe restoration. And uh, this uh, project seems to be the on again, off again project for me. And I haven't had any time really to work on it the last uh, several weeks, but uh, I've been anxious to get this pinstriping done. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna get going. So this is uh, there, there's there's three uh, pieces on this uh, safe. Uh, that need pinstriping. Uh, the outside of the safe door, the inside of the safe door, and then there's an inner door uh, inside the safe that also had pinstriping on it. The, when I started working on the safe, uh, I was able to actually take some pictures and get some measurements on the pinstriping on the inside of the safe. Unfortunately, the outside of the safe uh, was completely destroyed, at least the finish was on it, so there was no signs whatsoever of the original pin striping. Uh, the, on the inside, it was bad enough that I just really didn't, it wasn't worth trying to save, uh, but it was good enough that I could at least get some measurements off of. So we're gonna basically put the same pattern that was on here originally. I've also done some research online, looking at pictures of old Victor safes. Uh, there's lots of them on the internet. And uh, I will say that it does not look that there was any set standard on this pin striping. Uh, almost like every safe kind of had its own uh, pin striping, which is not unusual because back then you had pin stripe artists who were basically just doing each one individually. Uh, most of the safes though did kind of follow the same trends as what my safe had. Uh, some of the safes that I saw online had very elaborate pin striping uh, that was even, it was over the top. And I'm sure that was probably an option uh, that you could uh, get uh, when you purchased uh, your safe. So again, we're going to try to match the pin striping that's in here. And to do the pin striping, I'm going to be using uh, my Bugler uh, pin striping tool. And uh, I had kind of previewed this in a previous video uh, where I had done some practicing with it. But this is going to be the first time that I've really used it for real. And uh, anyway, we're going, to, we're going to give it a shot. So the first thing I want to do is kind of lay out on, on the door here where my lines are going to be, or at least I'm going to do them one at a time. And I'm just going to use a little pencil that, you know, this will rub right off the paint. I'll also say, you know, we've, we've got a good painted finish on this. Uh, this is the final finish for the door. Uh, and before I started, I wiped it all down with mineral spirits and then, you know, got it good and clean, got all the residue and everything off of it. So I've got a good surface uh, to work on. Um, there's three different stripes basically in a square pattern around uh, the door that we're going to put in here. And uh, the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the center and work out. And we will basically make one complete square, one complete square, and then make the final square. And the uh, width of these stripes are all different. Uh, so we're going to use a very narrow one and then I've got a wide one. I think it's about 3 8 inch wide roller for the, the, the wide one. So anyway, let's get started. We're going to um, get going on this. So to start with, this inside um, stripe is about two and three quarter inches. So uh, I'm just going to use a rule here. And uh, again, we're going to make some marks on here, kind of showing where the, the lines need to go. And I'm just putting an X kind of right there where it needs to be. I'm going to just flip this around and we'll do the other side. Okay. So hopefully you can see the little X is in here. I, it's real lightly on, on there with just pencil. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some, um, this is some pinstriping tape, um, some 3M pinstriping tape. And I'm going to use this just kind of as a mask um, to, for, so that if I go past the line, I'll have a, a, a tape line that I can pull up. So I'm going to cut off some strips and we'll go ahead and get these in place.
One neat thing that Bugler offers as a uh, option when doing this is they've got a little magnetic, it's, it's a magnet that has a slot in it. And uh, the slot, uh, I don't have any paint in here right now, but the slot fits this little groove here and you can use this as a template uh, when doing your pinstriping. So this will do straight lines, will do curved lines, so you can kind of lay them out. So if you're not real good with just by doing things freehand, and there are a lot of really talented people out there who are very good at doing this freehand. I am not one of them. Uh, we're going to use um, we're going to use this to kind of uh, help us get our line straight. So uh, anyway, I got that in place, and uh, I tell you what, right now I don't have any paint in this yet. I'm just going to use this as a kind of a guide here. I'm going to just kind of eyeball in this, get, uh, there was a little bit of paint residue on there. So now we're going to go ahead and load the gun up and get it ready to go. So I've got my uh, silk barrel here. Uh, the paint we're using, this is a one shot uh, sign painters paint, which is a uh, uh, kind of the standard for pinstriping. A lot of pinstripers use this. This is by no means the only paint uh, that one can use, but this is a nice high quality paint. And what I'm using here is a metallic gold. Uh, I want to do gold pinstriping. So this is a metallic gold paint. And uh, I'm just going to take a little syringe and uh, I've got this stirred up really good. We're going to pull some up into the syringe and we're just going to load the end of the gun with some paint and that should be plenty. Put that over here and let it soak and we will put the cap on here with the width um, pinstriping tool that I want to use. Got a little drop right here. I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up. Okay. Next thing I want to do is go ahead and get the uh, wheel loaded up. So I'm just going to put it down on a piece of paper and I'm just going to pull some stripes here. And uh, we're making a nice clean line there. Uh, that looks good. Uh, we'll save this paper uh, for later on. So now let's get back over here and we'll get it the piece ready and go ahead and pull a couple of lines. Okay, so all the lines we're going to be doing today are straight lines, and um, this is something that I purchased, and this is something you can get from Bugler. And basically what this is, it's a magnetic strip, and there's a little fence uh, on the side of your tool that will fit right down in this groove, and you can use this to kind of uh, lay out where you want to go and then follow it, and it'll help you, uh, for someone who is not as artistic as I am, to help them get things laid out the way they want it. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just kind of bring my tool over here. We're going to, and I'm just eyeballing this to get the wheel lined up and I'm moving the magnet over uh, to get it where it is. I'm not touching the, not touching the part. All right, so I got the top and bottom. I say I'm not touching it. I got a little dab on there. Let me just Clean that up. It's just a little bit of mineral spirits. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a uh, carpenter square here to get this line nice and straight. So I've kind of got at the top and bottom where it's touching and it's touching both there. And now I'm just going to kind of slide this over up against my square. So we should have a nice straight line now. I'm going to verify that where we need to be, we are. I'm going to get my piece of paper here again. I'm just going to make sure that we got paint loaded up on the wheel. And it's very simple. We just put it in the groove. I say it's very simple and I pull a darn Lulu.
Okay, so now I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna put my tool down in the groove and pull a straight line all the way down. And we'll just go right to our tape. And I went just a little bit over up there at the top. So I'll take a uh, little dab of mineral spirits and uh, we'll just wipe that right up. Okay, so now I'm going to flip my part around and uh, do the other side. I like to work pulling it toward me, so I'm going to be constantly moving this piece around. I'm going to wipe this magnet with my hands just to make sure I don't have any residue on there. All right. And again, you know, we're not touching here. We're just eyeballing getting these ends more or less lined up square. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, we want to be pretty darn close to perfect, but it doesn't have to be just perfect. Now this one's going to be a little bit awkward because I've got the uh, hinges on here that are uh, giving me a little bit of trouble. Tell you what, let me slide this up just a little bit. Double check these. Good. Right, I think that's going to be good. I always like to pull a couple of quick lines on that piece of paper just to make sure my wheel's loaded up and hadn't dried or anything. And we'll pull another line. All right, two down. I'll go ahead and uh, pull my paint that I, or my tape that I use for the end lines. Go ahead and pull all four of those up. So we got the next uh, piece set up now. I've already put my tape on here and I just kind of put a little strip right up to the edge of uh, the existing pinstripe. And again, that just gives me something to work off of. Already got our straight edge on here. We're ready to pull this line. We are set up now for our next line, and this is going to be a wide stripe, so I've got again about a 3 8 inch uh, uh, head on here. I've swapped that out. I've got this set up again. We want the outside edge of this stripe to be about 2 inches from the edge, and uh, the process for using this one is pretty much identical, but I will say that as you go to these wider heads, it is extremely important that you keep uh, the piece down flat as you're rolling. If you get up one side or the other, as you're going down through there, you don't get a broad stripe. You do, it, it will flare out one side or the other. So uh, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull this one out. And I'm losing a little bit right there on the edge. I just backed up and started over again in that area. All right. There's that first stripe, nice straight, and looks even all the way down. We'll flip it around, do the other side. Okay, here we go.
Okay, we'll pull that tape up and get the other two sides ready. So for this stripe, because I've got such a broad area to stop it in, I'm going to uh, forego the uh, tape and just go ahead and pull them across. All right, here we go. Pull a little bit on the paper to start with. All right, we're going to change the uh, tip out again and get set up for the si final uh, square here. And here we go on the uh, last line for this. All right, the door hinge is getting in my way down here on the end, so I'm going to have to go into freehand mode and uh, see if I can straighten this one out. So what you think guys, not too bad for my very first pinstriping job. Uh, I'm very pleased with the results. Uh, the bugler tool made this extremely easy and uh, we've got two more doors to do. I will probably do those off camera, but I'll bring you guys back at the end and let you see what they all look like. Well, I promised to bring you guys back and show you the finished uh, product. So. I got all three of the pieces that needed pinstriping uh, all done uh, a couple of days ago. I've let the paint dry and I just couldn't wait. So I went ahead and just kind of did a mock-up assembly of this. Some of this stuff's going to have to come back apart, uh, but I wanted to see what it would all look like on the safe. So uh, anyway, I'm going to zoom you in here so you can see this real good and we'll show you the pinstriping. So uh, the first thing and most obvious is the front door of the safe here. And I got a little bit of glare. It looks like coming in the sun's coming in the window over there in the shop uh, but i will comment a couple things on the door the door is not 100 percent through with the pinstriping uh, i have found uh, reproduction decals uh, to put on here and there's going to be some lettering on the top and bottom victor safe victor patent and then there's a logo that'll go in here and the last pinstriping that will go in here Really, I need to get the decals in place so that I can make sure that I'm putting that in the right place. And I don't have those decals now to measure off of. And um, anyway, so we're going to wait to get those and we'll put the final pinstriping on here. And plus the decals are really going to um, just kind of juice up the front door here. Uh, so and then uh, the rest of the pinstriping is on the inside. So, of course, I haven't got my dial ready yet. And on the inside panel here, you can see, you know, this is covering up. Uh, all the uh, uh, lock works and all that. This is just a thin piece of sheet metal. Uh, I've got to paint my screws black. Uh, but again, I just put it on here for right now. And then again, uh, the inside door here uh, is all pinstriped out. And uh, all in all, I'm real happy with the way it looks. Uh, it uh, has come together very nice. Uh, there will be another decal that goes on this door. And again, that's ordered as well. And uh, I'll tell you what, let me get the key to this and I'll open up the front door there and you can see inside. Back in a previous video, I'd shown you the locks in here and I'd taken these to a local uh, safe and lock company and uh, they uh, were able to rework the locks on these and uh, get me keys made. So there's the inside of the safe and um, I'm debating right now what I'm going to do on the inside. Um, 
you know, there is a little, another little door up here, uh, a little lock box, and it has some pinstriping on there. I'm going to try to clean this up, and I, I would really, if at all possible, try to um, save this inside. Uh, just to leave it, leave it all original, just like it is. Um, my wife and I talked about it, and just to kind of leave some of the heritage on here. But I haven't decided yet, because this is... It's kind of rough in here. You can barely see the pinstriping, but I don't know. I, I, I'm just undecided right now. Um, we're going to take a closer look like that. I want to get in here and see if I can clean this up and kind of polish out and get that black looking a little bit better. So, but um, undecided what we're going to do in there. But outside, man, it looks great. Uh, everything's looking good. Um, when I get the decals on, I'm gonna probably put a clear coat over the whole thing just to protect the decals and uh, help make sure that they stay on there real well. And uh, of course, we've still got the 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 dial to finish up, and uh, I've been delayed on getting my foundry stuff done with everything that's been going on this spring. But hopefully, we're gonna to get to that uh, here again relatively soon and uh, get the dial finished up. We're getting real close to being finished with the safe. Uh, right now, the limiting factor for me is just time to, to get it done. So there we go, guys. Uh, the Victor Safe Project, uh, making some more progress, uh, slowly but surely. Uh, I will say that the uh, pinstriping tool uh, was actually pretty easy to use. Uh, like I said, I've done some practicing. You guys saw that in the previous video, and I did some more practicing off camera. But particularly with the little magnetic strips, uh, it was, it was, I wouldn't say it was foolproof, but it was pretty darn easy. And uh, I will also say that this is the very first um, real pinstriping I've ever done rather than practicing on some paper. So if I'm able to do this, I, I have virtually zero artistic ability. Uh, you know, I can draw a straight line with a ruler sometimes, and that's basically what I did here. I drew some straight lines with a ruler. Uh, so, uh, but I'm very, again, very impressed with the, how this tool worked and how it turned out. And uh, I can see that I'm going to probably be using the bugler pinstriping tool again down the road. So that'll wrap up this video. Again, thanks everybody for watching and uh, we'll talk to you later.